graph the following inequalities by hand. y is less than 1 3rd x minus 2. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph y equals 1 3rd x minus 2. But since it was a strict less than inequality, so if we have a less than or a greater than inequality, we will use a dotted line. So y equals 1 3rd x minus 2 has a y-intercept of 0, negative 2, and has a slope of 1 3rd. All right, so 0, negative 2, and a slope of 1 3rd. So up 1, run 3. I'll just plot another point. Up 1, run, run 3. All right, so I will use a dotted line through those points. And now we test a point by choosing, choose any point that's not on the line. I often recommend that students test the origin especially, well, you have to choose a point that's not on the line. If the line doesn't go through the origin, that's usually a pretty good point to test because arithmetic is easy with 0, 0. So substituting 0 for y, substituting 0 for x, and then ask yourself, is this true? Is 0 less than 1 3rd of 0 minus 2? Simplifying the right-hand side, 1 3rd of 0 is 0, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Is 0 less than negative 2? No, that's a false statement. So what that tells me is the origin is not a solution. 0, 0 is not a solution. And so then the solutions must lie on the other side. And so we would shade the other side of the boundary. So if the solution comes, if the test point comes back with a true, you shade the region containing that point. If it comes back false, you shade the region that does not contain that point. y is less than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 4. So I'm going to graph y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. I'm going to use a solid line. If we have a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to, we use a solid line. So I have a y-intercept of 0, 4 and a slope of negative two-thirds. Zero, four, slope of negative two-thirds, so down two and right three, down two and right three. Drawing a solid line through those points. Testing a point. I'll test 0, 0 again. Is 0 less than or equal to negative 2 thirds of 0 plus 4? Well, 0 is the left hand side, negative 2 thirds of 0 is 0, 0 plus 4 is 4. Is 0 less than or equal to 4? That's a true statement. So then 0, 0 is a solution of the inequality, and we would shade the region containing that point since it came back as a true statement. Two x minus y is less than or is less than negative five. So I'm going to graph two x minus y is equal to negative five, but with a dotted line. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this in slope intercept form. I'll subtract two x from both sides. So negative y equals negative two x minus five, and I'll divide through by negative one. So y is equal to 2x plus 5. So I have a y-intercept of 5, 0, 5 to be specific, and a slope of 2. And I'll think of that as a 2 over 1. So I have 0, 5, and the slope is 2. So up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1, etc. I will use a dotted line.
And again, I'm going to use a test point. I'll test 0, 0. Again, as long as it doesn't go through there, I'm going to test it. And always go back to the original inequality. So I'd have 2 times 0 minus 0. Is that less than negative 5? 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Is 0 less than negative 5? Well, that's a false statement. So I would not shade below. Instead, I would shade the region on the other side of the boundary.